Alright, what's going on guys? So, uh, I see these fast food restaurant tier lists kind of going around social media and stuff, uh, due to iDubs. And, uh, I wanted to go ahead and put my input in on it because I'm the only one who's gonna do a proper list. So with that being said, uh, I found this, uh, easy to do, I guess, uh, the, this tier list. Okay, I'll drop a link in the description so you guys can bully me on Twitter and tell me how wrong I am. Um, there's a pretty decent amount of restaurants in this, actually, because I've looked at a lot of these different tier lists and stuff, and, um, there isn't really that many. With this one, I see a very healthy selection of places that I've eaten at and places that I have not, so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the places I have never eaten at out of the way. With that being said, I have never had Jack in the Box. I live in Ohio. I don't know of anywhere in Ohio we have one of those. I've seen them on the road going on, like, uh, vacation and stuff. I have never eaten at one, though, so with that, yeah, uh, Boston Market, I have never had that, uh, I think they make chicken, I'm not 100% sure, I saw it in South Park once, when they were like, uh, I don't know, they were like dealing KFC or something, after it got banned, uh, great episode, by the way, but I've never had Jersey Mike's, so I wouldn't know if it's any good, uh, I've never had El Pollo Loco, I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume I've never had it, uh, I've never had Panda Express, I have never had, let's see, Zaxby's. I've never had Zaxby's. I've always heard it's really good. I don't know what this is. It's a pretzel place. Never had. Uh, same thing here. I I don't, maybe I have. I can't recognize the logo though, so we'll assume no. Um, Annie Ann's, never had that. So, uh, yeah, this is, well, oh, I'm sorry, Whataburger as well. I've never had. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I finally have a list that I can actually go from. Uh, and, um... With that being said, we'll start with Arby's. Now, Arby's has really good fries and chicken strips. Uh, very overpriced and, in general, very hit or miss. We'll go with that with a D tier. I do like their social media, how they constantly, like, advertise using, like, game releases and stuff. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, A&W, I'm not sure if you guys know what that is. We do have these in Ohio. Um, really decent hamburgers as of the last time I've had it. I haven't had it since I was like 11 though, but I'm gonna go ahead and give that a B tier. I, I think that's a very fitting result for that. They also have awesome root beer floats, which is what they're really known for. You probably know about A&W root beer, but it's all pretty much the exact same thing. Now with that being said, Burger King, Jesus. Oh, okay. The hamburgers, not great, but not terrible. The chicken nuggets have not been good since they got rid of like the crowns and the stars. They were good then back in my childhood, but uh, we're going to go ahead with a very quick no with Burger King. I don't know if you guys have had a Burger King chicken nugget. You can get 10 of them for $1.49. However, for the quality, it's a total no. I don't know last time you may have had Burger King's chicken nuggets. Honestly, I saw something on Twitter that said that they taste like zebra meat, and it's not totally wrong. Fries are always cold and soggy. Place sucks. We'll give it an F. Checkers, also known as rallies, okay? Not too terrible. They have pretty good fries. The burgers are decent. Shakes are not good at all, but I mean for the price and the quality of the food, uh, it's it's pretty good. I mean, I always have a stomach ache after I'm done eating at this place, but I will give it a B because, I mean, overall it is pretty decent. Now, Chick-fil-A, this is probably one of my favorite restaurants, and, uh, you know, they've gotten themselves in a lot of shit because apparently they don't like gay people or something. They keep donating to apparently like anti-LGBT organizations or something. I really don't think that uh, the organization is truly anti-LGBT. I think that that's kind of a, just a little bit misleading. Uh, they're not open on Sunday, which I guess I'm okay with. But overall, I mean, they've just got good food. The fries are good. Chicken's good. You know, spicy chicken sandwich for the win. We're going to give this one a personal favorite. I love this place. Every time I have an opportunity to eat it, I will. Uh, Chipotle, okay? Now, I've only had it like once or twice and it's because I'm totally afraid to eat it, okay? Because there's been like nine different E. coli outbreaks across the country, completely uh, related only to Chipotle. However, their burritos are pretty goddamn good, okay? And it's not too terribly priced, especially for the quality of the food, I guess. But like I said, I, I just simply don't eat here very often because I don't want to die from an E. coli contamination. But I'm going to go ahead and give Chipotle an S tier. Cinnabon, okay? Now, it's basically only a dessert place, and I've only seen them in malls. I've never seen, like, a standalone location of a Cinnabon, but, you know, they're usually only, like, airports or malls, you know, places where a lot of foot traffic goes through. With that being said, you know, the thing about Cinnabon, I only want to eat it once every couple years. I love cinnamon rolls, but they're not something that I genuinely eat 
Like, if I'm in a mall, you know, there's so many different food options, I don't generally pick Cinnabon, but with that being said, it's pretty decent. We're gonna go ahead and give it a B tier. Jimmy John's. Now, oh boy. So, this is basically, it's like a sub-sandwich place, really. You know, they sell a bunch of different types of sandwiches, and, um, it just simply is not good. I mean, it, I don't know. It, the food just seems really disgusting. Every time I get it, it's just not good. Like, I don't know, the meat is fine, but it's the rest of it that's not fine. Like the bread and the other toppings. You know what? We're going to give it an F tier. Dairy Queen. Now, I used to eat a lot more Dairy Queen as a child because my dad would take me there. However, I still occasionally go for ice cream. I don't eat their food anymore. But um, from what I remember, they had pretty decent chicken strips. But with that being said, their ice cream is top of the line, even though it's soft serve ice cream. Blizzards are pimp. I mean, you can get so many different types. We're going to go ahead and give it a C tier simply because of that fact. And, you know, I would rate it higher if it was just an ice cream place. But I don't want to go there super often, and I only really go there for ice cream. Now, the next one we have is Dunkin' Donuts. Now, we didn't even have a Dunkin' Donuts nearby for a long time, but the one we have now, their donuts are just... Eh, eh, we have we have better local donut shops around here in uh, in Ohio, but yeah, God, dude, you know their coffee isn't garbage, but it's not great. I definitely prefer prefer Tim Hortons. This place, we're gonna give it a D tier. Five Guys, man, this place is just I, I don't even know how to describe it. This is basically the in and out of the East Coast slash Midwest, really, uh, from what I understand. This place is just awesome. It's super overpriced, though, I will say. But even then, like, I will pay more for quality food. The hamburgers are always really good. Uh, they take a little bit longer to cook than the average fast food restaurant. However, you know, like I said, I'll pay for quality and I'll wait for quality. It's a lot better than, like, a McDonald's. Now, their fries are just goddamn scrumptious, okay? They got these bags of potatoes sitting around the store and stuff. They make a goddamn good fry, okay? And you get a ridiculous amount of fries. You know, the first time I went there, I made the mistake of ordering the large fry because, I mean, you get a large at, like, you know, McDonald's. That's something one person could eat, but if you get a large at Five Guys, it's, like, enough for three or four people. It's stupid. Like, they even warned me, like, are you sure you want a large? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with getting a large, please. And, yeah, we're, we're gonna go ahead and give that a personal favorite. This place is just amazing. Hardee's, also known as Carl's Jr. in some areas, um, very, very mediocre, okay? Their fries, I don't think are that good. Uh, their hamburgers are, eh, they, they, they're hit or miss. I, I just don't think, honestly, Hardee's is that good. I, I don't know if it's just me or what the whole thing is, but it's just really not that great, you know? It, it's just better than Burger King, which is why I'll give it a D, but it's definitely, it's not even better than Dairy Queen's food, in my opinion. Now, for some reason, I forgot to put In-N-Out in the Never Try list, but when I do eventually go to Los Angeles or somewhere with one, I definitely want to try it. But yeah, that, this place I've always heard great things about, you know, really excited to try. Uh, KFC. Oh, it was so much better when I was a kid, but it, it just, it's not good now. They still have a really good, uh, they have a famous bowl, which it's mashed potato bowl is all it really is. Pretty good overall. I, I don't ever really go out of my way to get KFC. If I'm in the area and that's the only thing really open or really, I guess, in plain sight, I'll go there. But yeah, I mean, just because I like the Famous Bowl, I'll save it from the F tier. But overall, just not good. Krispy Kreme is generally okay. Uh, Yeah, we'll give it a C tier just because, you know, it it's decent sometimes. Don't really go out of my way to eat it. Long John Silver's. Now, I used to eat this a little bit more when I was a child, but I'm not a huge seafood person, for one. They do have good fish regardless. Um, it just, I don't know who's keeping them in business, okay? It's like, I don't know anyone who really goes out of their way to eat at Long John Silver's. I really don't. Overall, though, it's not terrible. The fries are kind of nasty. The hush puppies are good, but we'll give it a C tier. I mean, it, it's meh. McDonald's, or as I like to call it for the most part, shit Donald's. Their burgers um, have gotten better. They're still not the best fast food hamburger. They just aren't. Their milkshakes are okay. Their fries are good if you order them without salt because they're entirely too salty and just disgusting if you get them with salt. The only reason I'm going to give this place a B tier is because of the chicken McNuggets. Oh my god, th those are just amazing. Panera Bread, okay? Now, this is a place I've only eaten a couple times. They have extremely good macaroni and cheese. That's pretty much all I eat from there. But uh, with, with that macaroni and cheese, I'm definitely going to go ahead and give it a B tier. That stuff's good, man. That, that stuff is really good. Now, Popeyes. I feel like Popeyes is kind of the, the underrated chicken joint uh, from what I can what I can tell. 
KFC is super mainstream. Popeyes is kind of there when it comes to the mainstream. However, they offer chicken and spicy variant, which KFC doesn't in my area. I don't know if they do in others. They have spicy chicken at Popeyes, and the chicken doesn't taste like cat paws, which is also something that I, you know, generally don't enjoy having my chicken taste like. They also have really good fries. Um, the other day, though, I did actually eat Popeyes. I choked on a biscuit, okay? I had no Bev. I know that's kind of like a, a meme on Twitter and whatnot. I choked on a biscuit, no Bev, thought I was going to die. I'm not even kidding. Like, it felt like I was gargling rocks in the back of my throat. I, I love the chicken. I love the fries. You know, gonna give it an A tier, but oh my god. Yeah, those biscuits, man. Chicken and biscuits, we'll cut the biscuits out. Quiznos is a place that I feel like has seen rapid decline in the last decade and a half or so. We used to have a Quiznos. It does not exist anymore. I only had it once, and, uh... It was very basic, I would say. I'll give it a C. Don't remember it too much, but, I mean, it wasn't like, you know, Jimmy John's bad. Raising Cane's. Now, I like Raising Cane's. I think they have pretty decent chicken. The bread is awesome. The fries are pretty decent. I think this place is a little bit overrated, though. Cane's sauce is pretty good, but I'm going to give it an S tier. I've had it a couple times, especially after Cod Champs in 2017. Or I should say for the 2017 year, it was in 2018 last year in Columbus, but it was pretty decent. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it's the best restaurant of all time, but I mean, it, it, I will eat Raisin Cane's. Sonic is just fucking disgusting altogether. Uh, I don't know if it's just the location nearby. The food sucks, the ice cream sucks, the root beer floats were okay, I guess. I don't even know if they sell root beer floats anymore, honestly. You know, just not a good place, and I hate it with a passion. I have actively avoided it ever since I had their chicken and french fries as a child, and it was just disturbingly terrible, okay? Now, steak and shake, okay? If you don't know, I worked at one of these for about a week, and they're closing down all of our local steak and shakes because they're all absolutely fucking disgusting. Steak and shake, I feel like, is going to have that rep forever. They're all disgusting. The one I worked at was disgusting. You know, they're just nasty, okay? Now, the food is okay, the Frisco melts are good. They're way too greasy. Same thing with the burgers. The fries are generally okay if they're not freezing cold. I think, honestly, their chili, quote-unquote, is just chili dog sauce heated up. I'm just being honest. Their shakes are pretty good. Um, they're actually not horrible. And that's the only reason I will give this place a D tier. If, if it was for anything else, this place, if I could rank below F and don't know with, I hope this place just fucking goes out of business, it would be there. Subway. Now, for a fast food sub, Subway is pretty awesome, but if you've never had something like a Penn Station sub, you just don't know about good, okay? Subway's decent for what it is. It's priced, I guess, okay. I feel like it could be a little bit cheaper. I think they should bring back the $5 footlong, even if your boy, uh, Jared Fogle, kind of existed. You know, Subway is, it's there. It's not the worst thing I've ever had. We'll give it a B. Now, Taco Bell. This place is just, I don't know, it's its really awesome, but at the same time, it's just not that awesome, okay? They have really great items on the menu and really bad ones. However, all the great items, like the chicken quesadilla, the tacos, the beefy five-layer burrito, these are all pretty decent, so uh, it's also pretty affordable. It's decently cheap. A taco is like $1.79. You can get a burrito for like three or four bucks, which at Chipotle, you're not getting a burrito for three or four bucks. So, you know, it's there at late nights, too. I mean, when you're stoned off your nuts and the only things open pretty much are McDonald's and Taco Bell... Taco Bell has always been there for me, and for that, I am eternally grateful. So, I will give Taco Bell an A tier. It's not as good as these four up here. These are like the holy four, but it's better than the rest of this. Wendy's is primarily known as that place that has the awesome social media brand, I think. Um, however, though, they also have some really good food, okay? Wendy's burgers are pretty good. The Frosties are awesome. It's kind of an Ohio thing to dip your french fries in Frosties. Not horrible, but I definitely would prefer barbecue sauce, but the chicken nuggets are just phenomenal. I think, honestly, they're the best fast food chicken nuggets. Also, Chance the Rapper got him to bring back spicy chicken nuggets, so you know what? I'm happy with Wendy's. They got the four for four. If you're poor, man, Wendy's is, is a go-to if you're looking for a burger or whatnot, so it's getting the A tier. White Castle, okay? I, I don't know if you guys have ever had White Castle, but, um, you know, I think it's most famous for that movie. What is it, like Harold and Kumar go to White Castle or something? 
Uh, pretty funny movie. I can't remember the name of it, but White Castle is decently affordable, and they offer like these little sliders, like hamburger sliders, chicken sliders, fries. They got chicken rings, all kinds of stuff. The problem with White Castle is that my white asshole is constantly in pain and defecating several times a day after I eat it. So it can be affordable. It can be decent. It's not great. But if my White Castle asshole is constantly pooping blood because I ate it, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and give it a C tier. Good food, decent price, bad for my anus, okay? So this is my fast food restaurant tier list, okay? Chick-fil-A, Five Guys rounding out the personal favorites, Chipotle and Cane's being really up there. I didn't know about like half of these restaurants. Ohio just doesn't have a lot of these. Overall, I think this is the correct list based off of what I've had and what I haven't had. I know this is probably going to be a video that a lot of you don't like because, you know, you're 7 and you think McDonald's is the only good food, or you're 49 and you think, you know, uh, Long John Silver's is the only great meal that you can get on Earth, but this is really the only correct list, I feel. Um, I think that I did pretty good with this one, and uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and tell me what you think down in the comments, uh, whether or not it's a personal insult. You know, we'll see. I'm sure a lot of them will be insulting me. I'm sure a lot of them will be insulting some of my favorite restaurants, and I'm sure a lot of them will be just me being right. So, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter at Subtoptimus. I post memes, thoughts, and updates over there. It's a surefire way to get notifications of all my newest content. Join the Discord down below. Lots of great things going on down there. And, uh, yeah, thank you to my channel members for your $5 a month. Your support helps my channel tremendously. Generally, I use your money to buy things like Five Guys and Chick-fil-A, maybe some Taco Bell, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here before I get bullied off the platform. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus going to Chick-fil-A and signing out.